Okay. Uh, Sundar so very... Pichai. Mm -hmm. yes. Sundar Pichai, Google CEO. Mark uh, Twain, Abdul Kalam and Einstein. APJ Abdul Kalam, sir. Wow. Okay, cool. Hey, Stefan, uh, Abdul Kalam was the president of India. He was okay. Also, was... Yeah, he was also one of the foremost uh, scientists uh, India produced as well. Nice. Yeah, he is a is an amazing leader. Yeah, you should check on him. He has written uh, his book Wings of uh, Wings of Fire. I think is one of the okay. best books. Yeah. Nice, nice. I'm learning every time I'm so I'm doing this talk. I'm learning new people. Sometimes beautiful, all the time beautiful people, but indeed from all different backgrounds. I'm I'm learning so much through this. Thanks for sharing. Okay, now maybe some tips and techniques. Often people ask me that I'm I'm often trying to shy away from too many tips and techniques because everybody has their own reality and their own tools, but. If you're asking me anyway, so I have three dimensions, exploring the world, exploring others, and exploring yourself. I'd say exploring the world, try to find your role model and, 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 and read up. If the role model is around you, try to meet that role model. Um, try to call this person. If, if Elon Musk is your role model, send him an email. And you'd be surprised how easy it is to contact such, such, such people. Um, 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 but if a person is around the corner or somebody that be, be inspired by a role model, maybe surprise yourself. If you take the same road every day to work, try a different road. If you, if you didn't like a vegetable 10 years ago, try to eat it again. You know, um, if you're in a bookstore, uh, try to buy the book that's next to the one that you wanted. Um, so um, and try to learn more, build confidence by going both broad and deep. Try to read more things, maybe explore more YouTube or more uh, interesting thing. Let serendipity help you um, in exploring the world. And in terms of exploring others, try to make new connections. If there's this class member or this teacher or this fr this person. Um, in your class, let's, let's say a class who you haven't spoken to too, too much, make an effort, uh, make a new connections. If you haven't spoken to a person for a long time, may, remake that connection. Um, and try to be a positive forklift for a day. So you, you know what I mean? Just try to lift up people all the day. Try to be positive to every single person that you meet on an everyday, whether it's a, it's a doorman or a teacher or a friend or somebody in the, in the restaurant, try to be, smile at people, be nice, be thankful. Um, and, and, and through doing that, explore people's reactions and you'll see how, how lovely it can be. And maybe also to help yourself is ask people for feedback. Ask people, how am I doing? Maybe for the teachers amongst us here in the group or for the mentors amongst us, ask your mentees, ask your students, how am I doing? Be vulnerable for a moment. And, and you might hear so much beautiful feedback because everybody is, is, in my experience, is always willing to help other people in a very positive light if we only open up ourselves for it. Exploring, uh, exploring yourself, exploring myself deeply, is maybe try to make a list of what do I fear um, and try to face those fears one step at a time. If you're afraid of the dark or if you're afraid of meeting new people or if you're, um, you know, whatever it is for you, try to write it down and try to, uh, try to face them. You don't have to do anything with them, just to face them and, and maybe something might happen. Maybe keep a diary. Uh, a diary is a beautiful thing to reflect, just not write down what you did, but also why you did it and, and, and how you did it and what reflections you have from doing these things. Um, and um, you mentioned something in your incantation about values, which I think thought was beautiful. Um, and 
what I found in coaching people, people clarifying their own values is an extremely powerful thing. And if you, I'm sure you can find your mentors can help you with this or uh, your teachers or otherwise Google can help you with it, how to clarify your values. But I think that's a very, very great gift you can give yourself in exploring yourself uh, and knowing when. So suddenly, because if you know your values, you will know much easier why you're going to be happy in certain situations or sad in other situations because these things relate to your own values. So to end off, I wanted to share with you a little quote from a, a famous North American 19th century writer, um, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he's given curiosity really a, a light touch. You can read for yourself, but he says basically life is an experiment. What, what, so what if you fail or so what if you fall down? You will only grow from it. And, um, with that, I wanted to maybe close this, this presentation. And, um, yeah, I hope, I hope I was able to plant a little seed in, in your mind that curiosity is not just about intellectual curiosity. It's also about being curious about other people. It's also more about uh, inter interested in yourself, your self-reflective uh, muscle. Um, and as you're new in, in the world as, as, as young professionals to be, I hope you can, uh, you can take this for with you a little bit and, uh, and learn from it and challenge me in the process. Prove me wrong. I hope you can do so. <clears throat> Stefan, thank you yes. very much for the talk. I have a question for you. Uh -huh. can, you can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So you had that diagram where you started with ignorance to wonders to confidence to arrogance. Okay. Yes. And so I am, uh, that is something I actually, I try to be very aware of myself. Mm -hmm. So I usually seem to go between wonderous and confidence. Mm -hmm. I, I can see as soon as I get confident, I start putting rules. I yes. start saying, yes, we need to start getting metrics on. <laughs> and we need to make things happen. And then I start seeing, my God, I am missing the wonder of this whole thing. And then I just say, shoot, no metrics. And then I come back to wonders again. So here, you know, the society likes metrics. Individually, I don't care about metrics. How do you think I should navigate this? Well, as a company, a company is a structure, and if you're in a company setting, you need some you need some metrics. So you right. need you need a healthy combination between exploitation, which is probably going to be eighty percent or so of, of what you're doing, but you need to allow this fifteen or twenty percent of exploration, exploring the new. Because if you're all the time exploring, um, you're going to kind of wander off in all kinds of directions, and your customers would not know, have a, not have a clue of what actually you're stand, what you're stand for. So you need you need these uh, now for yourself. I think you also need a combination. You know, probably need in terms of percentages, you would allow more exploration to happen. Um, but the fact that you're aware already is is beautiful. That that you know you can you create you've given yourself this this natural barometer of where am i over tilting on the confidence side and on the on the on on the being wondrous and the wonder side and it's um it's interesting like if you're if you're not careful you're going to be a, a, a know-it-all who who is not interested in new opinions or new information um, and maybe an was you you said that satya nadella was your role model in at, at microsoft satya nadella launched a completely new culture in the company from a from a know-it-all culture to a learn-it-all culture um, and in an, in a schooling environment i would also recognize kind of challenge you like 
for all the students and all the teachers if just teachers around us um, it's not because you're a teacher that you know it all and it's not because you're a student that you you don't know it all um, because there's so much knowledge that you're having but um, now back to your point Strav and I think it's 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 already beautiful that you're that you're recognizing this and that you're sensing that if I'm tilting too much I need to hold back um, um, and now on the other side ignorance is also dangerous if you're ignorant and if you want to a lot of people want to stay ignorant because they have apathy or they just couldn't care less about learning about your neighbor or learning about a different religion or learning about a different book or type of area for for, for growth that's also very dangerous um, um, so that's also something that to to grow and uh, and love beautiful topic uh, Shrevan thank you thank you uh, uh, Fan, if I may see that's a that's a very really interesting thought you know I think uh, Toronto in the early stages, you know, when they were uh, pursuing, uh, you know, zero defect philosophy, they called it the constant um, strife and struggle between stability and disruption. Mm -hmm. They said, uh, if you're constantly looking for disruption, uh, you don't create value. But if you're constantly create for, for stability, you don't create innovation. They call it the creative destruction. You know, they had the, the PDC for stabilizing and improving. Then they said, look, anything that has not changed in six months should be disrupted. They, they said it beautifully. They said, look, so you need metrics to stabilize. Once it is stable, you have to destroy it and find something else. Okay. Said, I, I'd, love, I'd love to spend some more time with you on this. On, outside of this, on this, I'd love to. I, I, I read into this. Um, into this definition, the, the difference between exploration and exploitation, and this this positive tension. But you're absolutely right. It's um, it's it's very powerful as a as a topic. How would be the, how would the, this be relevant for a for a body again? See um, the the CIO of Mastercard uh, said it very well. He said, if I don't feel stupid at least once a day, I don't go to bed a peaceful man. They said, every time, you know, every time I get comfortable something, you know, look, you see, and I reach the point of confidence. He said, I find a way so far uh, making myself feel stupid. He said, I might pick up a new topic and look at that. He said, unless you constantly in touch with your stupidity, you cannot get creative. Um, that... I mean, that really touched me. He says, look, you know, shake hands with the stupid in you every day. That's beautiful. Yeah. Maybe you could create a prize in the university. The prize for the, the, the most stupid person for the day or the most intelligent stupid question that you could ask. Um, <laughs> Celebrate You know what? <laughs> kids, kids, kids are asking really deep questions all the time like kids are asking their parents uh, or their grandparents when you, when you will you will you die or when will the moon fall down you know all these really strange questions but very deep deep questions because they um and the more we all the, and you know what kids are asking about 70 questions every every day by the time we get teenagers, we're asking one question every day on average, <laughs> because it's not cool anymore to ask questions, uh, because society has told us off so many times, and you know, um, and then by the time we become students and young adults, we're only asking procedural questions. What do I do to, to pass the tests? Um, and what do I do to please the teacher or the boss? So, and that's sad. And then I hope we are, we, we give ourselves the gift to saying ourselves, maybe I should be asking different questions. And I hope that our teachers and our bosses are also preventing us from asking those questions and go deeper and, uh, and do those things, you know? So um, ask 70 questions a day and you're, you're going to, <laughs> and uh, your teachers are going to hate you for it and your, your partners and everybody, but, but it's worth it. 
Okay. Can I add something? Share something here. Sure. Oh, questions. Free video. Yeah. Right. Now, I'm in a dark place, so even if I keep my video on, you can't recognize me. I'm traveling, so. Uh, but this asking questions. Uh, many said role model doctor A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, the past president of India, missile man of India. He would always, especially anyone, he would always keep. time for question and answers and he would want the people to he says that is something we need to build culture in school allowing students to ask questions okay there was a time i was in a um, where all the school children were there and some of the icons of uh, india and uh, no narayan murthy sudha murthy the infosys presidents were there and they were like somebody said ask narayan murthy why don't you ask kids some mathematic question you know asking i was there and i just popped in and said no i think students wants to ask us question so i let the student ask and they asked such amazing questions even to me <laughs> that curiosity they said why is metro train only in the big cities why not in the smaller town it was a smaller town i just love that kind of you know the curiosity question why is here why is that not there it was one hour of fully loaded questions and all kinds of this amazing every every time i think um, it's a good reminder for us to stay curious and keep asking questions not procedural but real curiosity questions thank you Lovely. so much i i've i've thoroughly enjoyed though i joined little late but i had taken your test quite some time back ian had uh, shared that with me i thoroughly enjoyed thank you stefan <laughs> super thanks to vidya lovely good lovely comment indeed it's it's about questions and i think the moment at, at management level mm-hmm. uh, as if you're a boss people think that you have the answers yeah <laughs> and if you're not careful as a boss you're going to play that game and i I've, i've i've also experienced the same with teachers or if you're an old older child versus a fresher or it doesn't matter what if you perceive to be in a higher position then people look up look up at you to have the answers and and i hope that you push back and say and i don't have only, the questions yeah not only the juniors the so called seniors all of us when we are in a manager parental role we we also believe we have to give them a solution at least i have consciously asked the question back to them or uh, one more thing we do is probably more than asking questions we getting into questioning i think that is also important mm. to mm. have the difference between questioning and asking questions yeah we should have a prize for questions i'm mm. i'm sure and i think india has a way to go with here through its educational system because the educational system is more the teacher knows it versus the, the 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 student and you're not as much, as much allowed to question your teacher versus some countries in in Sweden or some other kind of more uh younger countries but i would suggest for all of you to start uh of course respectfully uh but start questioning yourself and 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 and, and thinking aloud with your teachers um and to or maybe with your friends Because that's that's a beautiful way to grow and to learn and to 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 get beyond where you are now. Because if you're if India is the fastest moving country economically in the world now, um, and that's beautiful. That means there are going to be jobs for all of you. Uh, but if you want to really end up with a, like in a similar job as Satya Nadella. you will have to ask questions and you will have to ask not procedural questions but really deep questions and you have to combine it with remember what i said about perseverance the the rover you have to combine it with perseverance and going after them um uh, but not everybody is going to be satya nadella the most important thing is for you to be happy uh and that's the most important thing we can all aspire to Oh lovely what else So uh, I want to share my experience uh, Yes le- Yes sir uh, uh, I was attempting one uh, mains exam last year uh, so I was uh, like I got good result in the first attempt 
and instead of uh, uh, like learning new thing uh, i was like i was too confident about my knowledge and uh, like i didn't read anything and uh, like i attempted that exam but uh, i can't resist myself that uh, i didn't uh, qualify in that exam Uh, so uh, that was uh, that in that situation made me realize that uh, we should never uh, feel uh, feel too confident about ourselves instead uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, explore new things daily instead of uh, feeling much confident about ourselves so that was one of my experience and also regarding my question is that uh, like we uh, the main thing uh, like everyone says that like we will we have to be uh, we should have a belief in ourselves but uh, that will not work every time because uh, the right people should be there at some situations like uh, like a supporting people so at that uh, at that times how we have to handle that handle our situations why it's a very good it's i i it's, it's a beautiful point the two points you're making your 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 own experience of not passing your test and realizing that taking it easy is is the easy way but it's not always the best way uh and the the second thing is that it's also it's it's much easier just to let go and to and to stay with the people we are and the friends we are even if they're not positively helping me towards things and it's 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 hard to break away from them but sometimes it's the right thing to yes. start looking for new friends um if um and you all look 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 good and uh, but it's it like ex- exploring you as youngsters and even me as a 53 year old um we should all we be exploring finding new people to talk to asking one stupid question every day maybe it could be our mantra from now on and maybe meeting one new person every day could also be um or being friendly to at least one other person per day um uh could be could be a mantra and that might open up new venues i don't have a, a silver bullet to say never do this or always do that but but it's all about your intention and it's all about your authentic being with yourself and your environment which is important and the great thing is you're in india you have so much mm-hmm. wisdom you know from all your gurus and all your 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 religion and your um and even if you're not hindu you could still learn a lot from buddhism and from 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 the religion religion spirituality has no religion almost you know but there's there's so much when i asked you the question about how many how many steps can you take on one breath that comes directly from your indian heritage so and there's so much beautiful things so you can be proud of that so you're sitting at the source for your self exploration already you can use it somehow yes sir thank you sir one just for information and others all our indian scriptures is in the form of question and answers you know it's always the whole thing the upanishads are in the form of that you know prashnottara the questions a student asking a question and teacher trying to answer address that the whole scriptures is on that basis lovely good point super I think we could gradually round off um any any learnings I'd love for you maybe to share with me what you learn what you think you will pick up what you will take with you um what 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 inspired you what you hated you know anything what you wanted to share what you want to share with me Hafsa Hafsa you raised your yeah. hand Hello so First of all, thank you for the wonderful presentation, Mr. Stefan. Uh, it really inculcated curiosity in us about curiosity, and you also give the solutions to uh, uh, make ourselves curious about ourselves, the world, and others. And uh, so, thank you for the presentation. And my question was: uh, I read that you were the chief learning officer for many companies. So, what was your role as the chief learning officer? I was just responsible for all learning and development. 
for the entire people. But I don't want to answer any question. I want to ask, I was asking you a half side question. What will you what have you picked up from this session? Um, well, I took your test and uh, I got a relatively uh, low score for curiosity about the world. So I from the presentation, I wrote down the points about your uh, how to inculcate curiosity about the world. So, you know, thank you. So I'll try to sharing. exercise those. Super, thank super. You. Who else? Who has who has picked up something? If you haven't picked up anything, let me know too. Mina, Mina Ravindra, I've been seeing you all the time and let me know what, what did you pick up? You have to unmute yourself, I think. Yes. Hi, Stefan. So I was listening in and yes, I agree to um, almost all the points that you have been um, putting out there. I have just one comment. I was looking at uh, my work. I work in a production unit. And uh, I was trying to correlate some of the points that you told me. We were thinking of curiosity when you're uh, carrying on production. I must tell you the other side of this curiosity. There are so many um, engineers who have been doing, um, I mean, um, modern production for many, many years. And normally there is a process that is um, established it is optimized and then uh, we want um, the whole plant and the manager and all the rest of the people to follow a set of uh, instructions often like you said um, when you are doing this day in and day out and you have a particular um, result from the production let's say I, i'm talking of quality and the quantity of the product we are insisted, the management insists that you shouldn't change any of the processes. Because if you have reached the optimum process conditions and you are producing the best quality product at the best cost or efficiency, then nobody wants you to touch the process. But often it happens that uh, the engineers cannot sit idle. Uh, they read up and there's a lot of literature coming up. After 10 years, 15 years, the processes are changing. There are other demands, uh, maybe it is uh, environmental requirements, you want to reduce the consumption of chemicals or uh, generation of effluents. All these can drive one to look at changes in the process. Why should I do it like this? You know, that's the, that's a curiosity coming in there. Why should, why should the process be like this? Why can't I change it? So then um, they tend to go and tweak some process, uh, change a parameter or do something with the process or the equipment design or something. And then you end up with one month of lost production. So then the okay. management is very annoyed because you have lost the month, you have lost the product, and you lost the manpower inputs and everything. So there are so many do's and don'ts. So like you said, I think the curiosity has to be controlled in some situations. Uh, even uh, when it is at home and in um, your life, it has to be guided. You know, the curiosity shouldn't be put to test immediately. Um, it has to be aired, discussed. The curios curiosity, I didn't, I didn't mean curiosity, the questions has to be discussed uh, with experienced people and then put to test or put into action. I feel okay. that's very important. Oh, super. Thanks for sharing. What did you pick up yourself, Mina, from this session? Can you share that with the group? Yeah, so I was trying to um, sort of uh, compile the whole thing, and this is what I felt. Curiosity is most essential, especially when you're young. And uh, yeah, another point I wanted to mention here is nowadays Mina, there are Mina, so many questions. I, Mina, I completely disagree. Curiosity is not when you're young. Curiosity, if you lose your curiosity, you're dying. So okay. curiosity is also there for grannies and grandpas. And for yeah. um, if we reserve okay. it also for the youngsters, society will die. No. So be careful. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, OK, I agree. Yeah, I take back that because I, I don't agree with my own statement, I think. Uh, it can't die. Curiosity cannot die. It's always there. And uh, I'm curious now. And uh, my mother is curious. I know it happens all the time. <laughs> good. And good to hear that. that. I'm, going to yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to ask somebody else also to chip in now. 
we have about yes. a couple of minutes left. Who um, who else picked up something from? Um, I see there's to two top Excel students in front of me, or Nurin Fatima. What did you uh, uh, What did you pick up? Hello. Oh, Sudi. Yeah, Nurin. Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, to find, uh, first to identify whether you're curious or not. First, that was the first point for me, and mm. uh, how, and even through the exploring, how not, how to kind of navigate or try to maintain that. Okay. Not like you, not like you, you will be curious as you mentioned in the session. Like as children, we ask many questions. But as we grow, we reduce that. So how to, even in future, how to avoid that, maybe. Okay, super. Thanks, Nuri. Good point. Good lesson. So we have some uh, students who have raised their hands. So uh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. go ahead, uh, Vivekta and Apurva. First of all, thank you, sir. Thank you for being here and sharing this thing. Uh, because uh, curiosity is the thing uh, which is very important, and uh, we like like uh, we actually uh, are in in e cell. We are curious like a child. Uh, we are curious about every little thing. And I had a I have a question when you are showing that curve of uh, knowledge versus curiosity. Yes. Uh, the more knowledge we have. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Yes, yeah the more knowledge uh, the more knowledge we have uh, um, the more cur the, uh, and the less curiosity and will be arrogant right so i my doubt is that if we if the person is more knowledgeable he must be more curious to learn right and uh, and that and that curiosity will for a learning mindset that curiosity will never go so that so why will it lead to arrogance Arrogance yeah. is, a, is, is a good question. It's a good question. Arrogance is a normal tendency of people who, who basically become a bit lazy because learning all the time new things take energy and it's much easier to, to relax. And arrogance means basically relaxing in the knowledge that you're having and not letting new knowledge uh, uh, from happening. Um, and relax, and, 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 and maybe let me link that to broad curiosity. If you're looking at all the Nobel Prize winners these days, it's all of, always about not anywhere one area of knowledge, but two or three areas of knowledge where these smart people are looking for the magic in between, for instance, chemistry and healthcare, or you know, economics and physics. And it's in that interface, and that requires curiosity to look for something, read something else. Imagine you take a course on business, read a book on history, and try to reflect where can I learn from history into, uh, into the other field. And the more you keep yourself open, the more you will prevent yourself from being arrogant. And uh, one more thing, sir, you said that a uh, good teachers and good parents uh, lead to uh, like, like will uh, help students or the next generation to be more curious. But the good teachers, they'll, they'll try to teach everything. And how can the how can the student be curious? They, well, I uh, don't think so. I think if you're doing if you if you're looking at research, the good teachers are those people who instill passion in me. The good teachers are not the teachers that want to teach me everything. The good teachers are the teachers that let me, that give me skills to learn throughout my entire life. And they create passion for history, for mathematics. Of course, they're, 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 they'll be focusing on their specific topic, but for good teachers are, are doing more than just cramming people. Um, at least I hope that's also in your experience. Uh, uh, so it's it's not about quantity; it's about quality, I think. And uh, and that's the same with good managers. Good managers are people that get most out of you, and are not kind of being micromanaged. I'm going to take one picture. If I hear, I'm going to put you guys on social media in a second. Just smile for a second, or. Uh, 
cool. Because uh, I want to celebrate the world that you guys. Oh, Sandia, you came on live. Hello. Let me take a picture of you as well. And what about Nurin? Uh, can you also come on come live? Then I'll take I think a all will come online, Stefan. All come online. As soon as you say you take picture, everyone will come online. Give uh, yes. 30 seconds. Take a picture. One more. I see Nurin still needs to come online. Okay. No, there's still one so. picture. Nurin. I don't know if she's struggling, I guess. And there's another person coming on board. Lovely. Super. Thank you so much. Um, I, um, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope um, be creative, be inquisitive, be curious. And be and persevere at it while you're at it. And I hope anytime you have the beautiful thing is you have your mentors. So reach out to them, use your mentors, abuse your mentors, help them for you to be curious, uh, and 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 try to rise to to become a better version of yourself. And by doing so, you will make sure your mentors and your teachers will become a better version of of themselves. And I wish you well. Uh, uh, Stefan, uh, some have taken the assessment, have not received the report. Is I'll it... make sure. Let, let me double check. If um, if it doesn't, send me an email, and I'll uh, I'll make sure that uh, that you get it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Namaskar, Namaste, Benevat, and we'll uh, we'll hopefully talk again. Thank you so much. Stefan. Thank you so much. Bye. I will add Bye. that one stupid thing every day. I used to say do crazy <laughs> things. Now I will add along with being crazy, be stupid also. Please do so. <laughs> Lovely. Beautiful ending. Bye now.